Major upgrades are coming to a popular destination in the Northeast Kingdom, one that's been enjoyed by generations of families. As Jack Thurston tells us tonight, the institution hopes the move will help it emerge from the pandemic stronger than before. A true window on the world at St. Johnsbury, Vermont's landmark Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium. I remember coming here when I was a little girl myself. I love Joanna Hastings bringing her grandson to see the butterfly house, the gemstones, the taxidermied polar bear and other animals, and so much more from the historic collection the businessman and philanthropist who started the place called his cabinet of curiosities. Now, a nearly $5 million project is set to significantly expand and renovate the 1890s building. The upper level will finally become accessible to visitors who use wheelchairs, and more modern museum experiences are on their way in fresh spaces for hands-on exhibits. Adam Keynes, the executive director. When this building was opened in 1890, museums were all look but don't touch. That was just the way it worked. Nobody had any expectation that was any different. And now that expectation is, is not that. It is you are to interact and you're to learn experientially. And so this will this will absolutely do that. This is an investment worth making. Representative Peter Welch, through Congress's new community project funding process, requesting nearly two and a half million dollars for the Fairbanks Museum work in the federal budget that's still in process. Welch calling the site a linchpin to St. Jay life, critical to driving visits downtown and to sparking interest in science education. The whole goal we had with COVID was to get through it safely, but to come out on the other side where our chance of having stronger communities where we work together, we share those common spaces like the Fairbanks Museum was increased, not diminished. The expanded Fairbanks footprint will also house the Community College of Vermont's St. J Academic Center. Groundbreaking is expected in April of next year with construction wrapping up by the end of 2022. In St. Johnsbury, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.